Hi, thanks for joining me. Glad you joined me today. I have a random thought. And it's basically of what do you want? I mean, I meet so many people and they come to me and they say, you know, I really want to be happy, but and never mind. And I think, what do you want? And why aren't you seeking this? Well, because I've got a job, I've got, you know, kids and I've got this and I'm in school. There's always something that's going to hold you back that will appear to be holding you back. But in reality, the only thing that is holding you back is you. So what do you want? Hi. If you don't know who I am and you've stumbled across me and I'm talking to you, my name is Michelle Moross. I'm an international speaker, a coach, speaker coach, a trainer for a, a mindset and I author a couple of books and I also have a podcast that's who I am but really what I am what I do is I'm a confidence builder I see you and I believe in you and I know that you have this dream that you are not allowing yourself to do oh hello on so here's the thing I'm going to encourage you today to do one thing that pulls you out of your comfort zone, out of your comfort zone, enough that moves you closer to what you want. Oftentimes, if you've ever seen me uh, speak live, I tend to start with a song and what woke me up this morning was, do you know where you're going to? Do you like the things that life is showing you? Where are you going to? Do you know? I heard that song when I was a little girl, Diana Ross sang it, and I used to cry because I didn't know what I wanted. And I'm talking, I was like seven years old or so when that came out. And it still, it haunted me through my adult life because that song would always trigger a, what do I want? It's okay not to know what you want, but to move directions, to move a direction away from what you don't want is the right direction. If you know you don't want A and you want something that's not A, start walking towards anything else that makes you feel better or what you think might make you feel better. And I'm not saying drop everything and leave everything and go somewhere else. No, one little thing that will move you closer to what you want. You see, in the past several years, my body has tried to die on me, okay? And I realized how important every frickin' day is. Life is too short to say one day. Life is also too short to say one day when my children grow up or when I finish school or when I retire because those days may never happen. You must take steps towards what you want now. For those of you who are like, oh my gosh, Michelle, you now that changes. I'm talking something simple. Instead of brushing your teeth on the right side first, start on the left side. Instead of putting two packs of sugar in your coffee, put in one. I'm saying little changes, teeny tiny changes every day. If you want to be healthier, do something so simple as in don't put the sugar in your coffee. I mean, something that simple will trigger your brain into realizing that it can do more. It can do more. Oh, you're saying my sound is off. Hmm, I don't know. It was working just fine. So if, if you cannot hear me, the sound will come on in the audio part later. So here's the thing. Move towards what you want. However small it may be, move. Because if you keep doing the exact same thing all the time and expecting things to change, what does Einstein say? It's a definition of insanity. You cannot do the exact same thing every day and expect that you're going to get a new result. Right? You must change something and keep changing something small until you start getting the result you want. It's that simple and that difficult at the exact same time. So what do you want? Do you know where you're going to? Do you like the things that life is showing you? And for those of you who don't know what that song is, look it up. I think it's called Mahogany.
by Diana Ross. Or maybe it might be called, Do You Know? Do you know where you're going to? Do you like the things that life is showing you? Where are you going to? Do you know? Find out what you want by moving away from what you don't want. Find the best version of you by creating the best version of you. So many of us have things in our past that we've allowed to cloud us down and hold us back. It's your choice to start pulling off those shells and that, that shell that's been protecting you for so long to find out who you are, who you want to be, what you want to grow into, how you want to give back to the world. It's all in you. It is. So go find out what you want to do by avoiding what you don't want to do and start slowly moving away from what you don't want to get to what you want. It sounds like a silly, crazy thing that I'm saying, but it's truthful. You can find who you are by moving away from what you're not. One little thing at a time. Don't do anything crazy. It's not ripping off band-aids or anything, okay? Just do it. Do something every day that scares you. And yeah, some people, it's going to be just brushing your teeth, starting on the left and the right. For others, it'll be something even more wild, like, you know, um, I'm going to drive down, go south to go west or whatever it is. Do something different. In my TED Talk, my mother-in-law, I quoted her and she said, you know, the differences between a rut and a grave are the dimensions. If you're doing exactly the same thing every day and expecting something different, all you're doing is digging your own grave. Life is too wonderful, too powerful, too amazing to allow something as simple as mediocrity and avoidance and acceptance to define who you are. And it's not. It's time to step up. It's time to be the best version of you. Go find you. Stop waking up and wishing that you were something else. Start moving towards what that wish is. So what do you want? Let's start going for it because life's too short. And I'm hearing it from way too many people saying, I want this, but I'm not good enough. I want this, but I have to wait. I want this, but people rely on me. Stop making excuses and start making choices that move you towards what you need and want in your life. Be the best version of you. I believe in you. If you have any questions for me, feel free, write them in the, the comments below or private message me and I'll answer you, okay? But let's get moving. Life's too short for this. I'll talk to you soon and have a fabulous rest of your day. And uh, if you want to share the one thing that you, one or two things that you've done differently that kind of scared you and encourage others to step a little bit out of their box with you. Have a good one. And until next time, this is Michelle with a random thought because, you yeah, know, that's what I do.